Hello, welcome to Your Time to Shine with your host, Darlene and Julie. Your Time to Shine is a radio show devised to help you discover your own divine gifts. Hi, I hope everyone is having a great night and a good week. Um, Julie and I were talking today about what what would be a a good topic, a helpful topic that uh, people people could learn from and really take something away from the show tonight. And Julie came up with change. So how many of you raise your hands if you don't like change? (laughs) (laughs) Change isn't always easy. And especially because we live uh, in a time or a culture or um, a paradigm that says when you're comfortable and content and you have everything you have or you want, then you should be happy. So what what happens when you're content um, and comfortable? Julie, what do you think? Well, sometimes you get complacent, right? You don't you don't try as hard, um, whether that be in your job or your relationship. Um, so sometimes it's good to, you know, do do a self check and check in and see what's going on. Right, and I see there's somebody who um, is watching us live on Facebook, and she said, uh, "We are creatures of habit. However, the one thing that's constant is change." That's true, and then again, sometimes the change that's required to actually change something, (laughs) um, not everybody is willing to do what it takes to make a bigger change, something that would actually transform life in a bigger way. Um, You know, for example, someone who's, who's really miserable in their job, in their career, and they're not sure what to do next, but it's giving them... Um, uh, a paycheck and it's paying the bills and it's supporting his family or her family and the, what what is that change and sometimes it's the fear stops us from even looking at what can be changed because the unknown can be frightening Absolutely. whereas yeah whereas being being comfortable or in a situation that you're familiar with, most people choose familiar and safe. Yeah. Especially when it comes to you know something like money or relationships. And, you know, the unknown when it comes to money, especially, um, you know, in the world we live in, you know, someone who may want to leave their job to go actually live their purpose. Um, you know, that's, that's, to put trust in what what's next, to put trust in um, the unknown. That's not something, you know, that's a change that is that requires a lot of trust and faith uh, and question um, in, in so many, on so many levels. Yeah. So is, yeah, there something absolutely. With, is there something with change that you've experienced? <laughs> that, oh, here's a better question. So something that when you did choose change, you saw what a dynamic um, experience it was and how much it did transform your life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I think one thing uh, for change for me was was mediumship. Um, that was a huge change. It was a huge transformation um, for me to step out and um, you know, say this is, you know, this is what I do. This is who I am. We all had to uh, upgrade to a new Skype and it's creating havoc across the world. (laughs) (laughs) Skype had, every time that Skype does an upgrade, there's, it it has a while before it works out. It's it's kinks. Anyway, so change. It's all change. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you have to upgrade, especially on the internet. And and sometimes it takes, what a perfect example. Sometimes it, it takes a while to figure out the kinks because you're walking new territory. It's not familiar anymore. Right. So every step you take is going to be new. 
And for me, that's more exciting than taking the same steps every day. And you know, take, sometimes when I drive places, I'll even if it's the same place I've been going to for several years, once in a while I'll just say, oh, I, I need to go a different way because I'm really bored with this way. And I also, oh, I also stop paying attention. So that's something else. So when you're too comfortable and too complacent, you start ignoring and not having an awareness of your world around you because you're just doing the same old thing and you're repeating it um, like a robot. So you're not really, that is, that's not exactly living. It's a life, but it's not exactly living. So like imagine yourself just taking the same drive every day to work or to wherever you go and then home again and it's it's the same traffic lights. It's sometimes it's even the same cars around you. You know, you sometimes see the same people driving back and forth, the same houses, the same stores. And you, we stop paying attention, and something really cool can be. You know, I don't mean you know take your eyes off the road, <laughs> but <laughs> no, that that's not necessarily good advice, but. Just if you find yourself that you're really comfortable and content, start asking yourself, where am I then ignoring something that is new within that complacency? Because we, we then stop and we don't look around. Uh, we're not really absorbing everything around us because it's just so, it's too familiar. So, right. Yeah. yeah. It, it's so easy to get into that space and just be so familiar with everything. And it's really hard to step out of that comfort zone um, for a lot of people. And, uh, you know, it, it takes courage and it takes strength. And like you said, trust just to step into something different. Um, whether that, like I said, whether that be, um, a relationship or work or anything um, it just a lot of courage what else are what else are the possibilities yeah and so that's a great question to ask every day I wake up and I say what else is possible today that didn't happen yesterday but something new that uh, what new adventure you know can can I find today? And here's a here's another good question that really helped me get over fear when I left a nine to five job um, to do my work. And I was this fear would I would wake up with it just this overwhelming sense of anxiety and terror, <laughs> literally terror. I I would just I would just ask myself, what would I do? If money wasn't an issue, because oftentimes fear has to do with, uh, you know, it would change um, the money in the bank account. Um, that's one of the, the, the fears. So I would ask myself, what would I choose here if it wasn't about the money? And I stepped into that and I started creating while imagining that that you know, that's something that shouldn't stop me with the fear around money. And I, I keep going and I don't give up and I don't give in. And I just keep living my passion and doing what's congruent with me. Because that's a living. That's a life. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, and the other, what you know, the other area around fear would be uh, relationship. So if, if someone is in a relation, you know, we... We get calls all the time from people asking about the person they're with. Is this who I, is this my soulmate? Is this someone I should be with? Is this going to work out? Well, I, I've been, in my past, I've stayed in relationships because my biggest fear in relationship was being alone. Well, if I, I'll stay in this relationship because it's somebody, it's good enough. And I'd rather that than not have anybody. Right. And I found that that was one of the biggest mistakes I 
made. Um, but if I learned from that, uh, because then what I started asking is, okay, who and what would be better for me? Um, so yeah, the relationships are huge when it comes to making change. So you really, you know, really ask yourself, is this person a contribution to my life? Or we do, do we spend most of the time fighting and not getting along? Right. Um, so, you know, it's, it, you, you can ask yourself, is this person a contribution to me? Am I a contribution to that person? And what will our lives look like in five years if we stay together? Okay, so if, if there is this pattern of whatever it is that, you, you know, you're not crazy about, you look five years from now, and is that most likely going to still be in place? And then you can ask the question, okay, if I had a different partner or if I moved on from this relationship, what would my like life look like in five years? Would there be uh, more possibilities? Would there be, you know, space, uh, you know, just, you know, more joy, less fighting? It's, it's amazing when you start asking questions instead of focusing on the fear of change. Right. And not right. Yeah. That's a whole different way of thinking. And that's, you know, that's a really different view of, you know, what people normally, what people normally look at. So when we're talking about all this, these are all really great points. Um, it, it, it does. It's, it is completely rewiring the brain to think differently. Mm-hmm. So yeah, asking ourselves, where are we spending our, and are we focusing on the fear of change, or are we, or can we start asking questions about if you did choose change, what would your life look like in five years? And oh wow, that would be amazing. Right. So that becomes much more exciting than complacency and familiarity. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know it does for me. Like, whoa, it's just it's a big, huge, delightful energy. It's much more juicy than, oh, yeah, I'm content. Yeah, he's good to me. Or, yeah, the job pays the bills. I'd yes. rather be like, whoa, if I left that job, oh, my God, all the doors that would open, you know, all the happiness I'd be able to spread into the world because I wouldn't be so bogged down by this job I hate just because it pays the bills. Right, exactly. Yeah, so joy or complacency? <laughs> Shame <laughs> or familiarity? Yeah. So, are we ready to take a caller? Sure. Sade from Columbus, Ohio is on the mm. air. Hello. Hello. How can we support you tonight? I guess um, I'm fine tonight. Do you have a specific question that we can tune into the energy of? Uh huh. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah. So, what is, what is your question? Um, general is. Um, just life period, relationship, job, anything. Is there a particular area that stands out the most for you that you would like information around? Um, my relationship right now. Your relationship now? Yes. Okay. So I am, go ahead. I'll go ahead. Um, I I was just going to say, um, do you, uh, do you, do you guys, hmm, trying to think of how, how to put this. What, what I'm seeing is, um, Somebody, I'm seeing someone dancing. Um, so I'm wondering if uh, 
so when I see somebody like that and I see if a person dancing, it's not necessarily literally dancing. Um, but the, just the fact that you guys um, are enjoying, um, there's a journey that you guys are enjoying together. Um, I see this, this person in your life um, this person is, is a, is a gentleman. He is, uh, he's very gracious. Um, um, I like my, um, I, I don't know if you talk about my dad or somebody, cause I'm a lesbian, so I don't know. The gentleman. Okay. So I have a son. Did, so did, did your, um, did your dad, did he ever wear hats? Yeah. Okay. So I must be, I must be picking up on your dad. Uh, he mm-hmm. is, he's doing it. He, he's doing little tap dances and he's really, he's very excited uh, to be connected to you right now. Um, mm-hmm. He's telling me that, he, he's telling me that you're going to be fine, um, that he, he sees joy in your life, um, mm-hmm. and he sees that, he sees that the person that you're with may not be the one that you stay with for, for a very long time, um, but there's going to be somebody coming in, um, that is just that are gonna is gonna raise you up and lift you up. Wow. So I yeah, he's just he's showing me he's showing me like he's putting his hands in the air like he's lifting. Um, he's lifting mm-hmm. up, darling. Are you picking up something? When you were you were saying the dance. I see that whomever, Sade, whoever you're with now, you're more doing a dance with each other. And it's like you're trying to get this footing, but it's not, you can't quite get the steps to match. Uh-huh. So when, when Julie was talking about the dance, it's like you're, right. or, or dancing around the issue. Yes, that's it right there. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand what you're saying because she likes to lie all the time and just tell him the truth about everything. She likes to, if I ask her a question, she trying to change the subject or something like that, you know? And so just she's, answering the question. Yeah. She skirts the issue. Right. Right. Yeah. So then, yeah. So think about what it is then, you know, what can you ask from her? Mm hmm. You know, because you're you're both then dancing, doing a dance, and not quite uh, getting to the issues that need to be talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Wow. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. So, what should I do? Like, it's not me with the issue. It's it's always her. Like, she's like, she keep her phone on silent. Like, she's real secretive. Like, I don't know what to do. We must be moving in together, but I just don't know if that's the right step to do at this time. I, I, I'm getting no. I, I'm getting that you need to wait on this for a little while. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, because if you're already feeling like there is, um, that there's lying and that there is... Um, you know, she's not being honest. Her phone is being silenced. Um, you know, when you're in, when you're in a relationship with somebody, um, you know, there should be, there should be none of that. Uh, to me, that is a huge, yeah, I'm being shown a red flag. I'm being shown a red flag. Um, so I don't, I mean, uh, personally, if it was me, um, and if I was talking to a friend, I would say I would hold off on that. Yeah. Um, so because I don't. 
So is she talking to someone else, or is it just like she is being sneaky? I don't know. Well, when when you spend time with someone, here's here's a question. Rather than us giving you the answer, here's a question for you to think about. Okay. Um, when when you're with someone in, in a, a relationship, a love relationship. How is it that you would like to feel? Would you like to feel trust? Would you like to feel loved, taken care of, someone you can spend a lot of time with? So if you yeah. sit down and really think about, even write down, what are your um, priorities in a relationship? And is are you mm-hmm. receiving what it is that you would like to have? in this particular relationship. Right. So then it's then it's your choice if you stay or you don't. Mhm. Okay. And can you uh, you know can you imagine in 5 years what your life would look like if you stay or 5 years from now if you you know found someone else that treated you and um you know more than more like what you would desire in a relationship. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's not easy when we have a relationship and we're in one. Sometimes that's, Mm -hmm. that's simpler and easy to just stay and see if you could make it work. Right. Like what Mm -hmm. Julie and I were taught, we were just talking about this at the beginning of the show. So you can choose what you have now or you can choose you know something that you would rather have and have it look like something different uh and make mm-hmm. a change yeah right and and to put this in a little bit of perspective for you Shade, i had you know i actually had a similar situation uh i am you know i'm i'm divorced and um you know, I'd been together with my spouse for a very long time, but then I could see the change and I could see the, um, you know, I, I could see the, you know, turning the phone off or looking at the phone when I'm not, you know, you know, listen, you know, watching or listening or anything like that. So mm-hmm. take that, take what Darlene has said, and then just sit with that for a little bit and see how you feel. Yeah. And we're about to, ooh, the show, that went by really quickly. So, Sade, I hope everything works out really well for you. And remember, you have a choice. You have a choice to be happy. Okay? Absolutely. Yeah. You're beautiful, and you deserve the happiness. And it's out there. You know, we live on a planet with over 7 billion people. So, (laughs) you know, (laughs) just to put it in that perspective. And, re- mm-hmm. and remember what your dad said, being lifted up high. Yeah, being with someone who lifts you high. That's, yep. a, yeah, that's a great um, something to go away with. Awesome. So well, thank, thank you for you. joining us tonight. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Julie, it was a pleasure. It was fantastic. Thank you so much. And you can go to yourintuitivementors.com for information about Julie and I and the readings that we offer. And our Facebook page, Your Time to Shine, if you'd like to say hello and keep in touch. And next Thursday, same time, same place. 